Hey Food Foresters, Amy here. Today we're in our small little garden area and we're going to be harvesting. Um, we want to get ready for the spring. Um, our last frost date is the last day of February, which is gonna be it's a leap year. So February 29th is our last frost date. We do have a cold front coming in tonight and tomorrow the temperatures are gonna be dropping. So we are gonna go ahead and prep everything in here. Um, take out what we don't need anymore. Um, some things we are gonna leave in so we can let them go to seed and I can collect the seeds, but mainly we're just going to go ahead and harvest everything we can and what we don't have or I should say what we don't eat or don't want we're going to go ahead and feed it to our animals so either way it's going to get used one way or another for the good so today we're going to start off with our carrots um we have both carrots and um garlic in here um we're going to leave the garlic in because we want that to grow donald and i love garlic but we're gonna go ahead and pull the carrots out, let the soil rest. We'll probably put some mulch in here. And then um, sometime in March, we're gonna go ahead and plant. I'd like to grow some more onions. So I think we're gonna use this to grow onions for the springtime here. Got my little wicker basket for these carrots and I am gonna go ahead and start pulling. And I'll show you guys what comes out. Oh, there you go. Nice little fat one. Tiny one. Oh, these two grew together. <laughs> twins. Twins. Siamese Twinsies. twins. Yeah, next year we'll definitely be separating them far more apart. Yeah. We were, we were just trying this. Um, now the carrots that we have here are both regular orange and the rainbow in here. And, uh, and those white ones are cool looking. They're not very big though. No, they didn't like the taste of the white ones. We really liked the purple ones and the regular orange ones. We, they were really sweet. And you know, we were so excited too. We know we um, should have thinned them out, thinned them out a little bit, but we wanted to see if they would even grow in here. So, yeah, it looks like the ones on the edges are really tiny, but the ones in the middle are really big. That might have to do with sunlight or something. I don't know. Well, I mean. Moisture from the water. Maybe. Now the tops of these, we will actually, um, um, our chickens love it. I don't know if the- Ducks eat it. The ducks eat it, so. Oh, here's a purple one. Now we were able to tell the purple ones because the stalk right here, was purple. So that's one way you could tell purple carrots. All right, so as you can tell, I got a lot more to go. So we're gonna get back with you in just a few moments. Yeah, here we go. Yep. This is the aftermath of the carrots. Weeded a little bit. And there is our carrot harvest not too shabby yep for for this little bin no not at all i think next year or this coming year i'm gonna put a i'm gonna build a bigger i think we ought to do the the long end here but i want to build worry. it i want to do a raised bed for them yeah i'm gonna set this up again oh that's heavy yeah that's a lot of carrots all right now 
Next, we're gonna do lettuce, right? Yep. Now, because it is getting warmer, the lettuce does not taste that great. Um, we are gonna let these two go to seed, and the rest we're gonna go ahead and I was thinking down. of letting just that one on the end go to seed. Well, this one's flowering already. That one's got a little bit of flower, but this one's more. These two have more flowers than that one. All right, we can do that. So, and this is the red lettuce. So Which we kind of like the best anyway. Yeah, we really like the red lettuce, so. But we're gonna go ahead and clean this all up, pull out the weeds. Let me see something there. Does it taste sour? No, that one's good. Okay. Then we'll we'll harvest the small ones. Yeah, because we, we can have salad tonight. Oh yeah, because we're having pita. Yeah, we have some salad with our pita. So, but we're gonna weed, and we'll show you the aftermath once we're done. So that way you're not too bored watching us work. <laughs> All right, guys, we got the strawberries all weeded and taken care of, and then Donald went ahead and took the tarp off of here he got all the weeds um we used our little hoe thing here and then uh what we're going to do is we're actually going to put mulch in here on the this weekend and then we're going to put the tarp back down and we're going to let the soil rest for a few weeks before we uh do anything else with it so that's where we're at and the next thing we're gonna try and do because we're tired of bending over <laughs> we're gonna go ahead and take care of that strawberry tree right there so stay tuned Sun's starting to come out. <laughs> oh, you okay? Yep, I'm fine. That that is just way too funny. <laughs> Now you guys might ask why I cut this strawberry tree down like this. It had grown up to the point to where we couldn't get most of the uh, fruit. Yeah. And uh, the froze, the freeze really did some pretty good damage to some of it. Although it was coming back, but again, it was going to be so tall that we couldn't uh, reach it. Yeah, but as you can tell, there's a, still a lot of new growth coming right out of the barks or the trunk of this tree, all the way down to the bottom down there. So, so now it's going to grow and we'll be able to actually get the fruit. I'm going to just go ahead and cut off yeah. good stuff here. We're going to go ahead and clean up. Okay, this papaya. It's getting up to, it's going to get up to the point to where we're not going to be able to reach. We'll have to use a ladder to get it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut it down right here. We're going to leave a couple of these here. These I'm going to try to make uh, some green papaya salad. The smaller ones are going to go to the chickens. Yeah. This big one we're going to let stay. And then uh, there's all these new branches, new growth coming. So this thing will, will be able to... Uh, We'll save a couple of the big branches that comes off and uh, the rest will end up trimming. So. All right, we're leaving the one, nice big fat one we're waiting for. And Donald is gonna go ahead and chop it where he wants. 
hoping we don't drop this. Woo, look at that. Alrighty. That's gonna be awesome. Okay, on to the next thing. All right, we are now on to the broccoli and cauliflower. We're gonna harvest, there's a few small heads we're gonna keep. We're gonna go ahead and pull the rest out. And we're keeping, I think, we're gonna keep that plant right there, that one, yeah, to, this for one. seed. And then the rest will come out. Yeah, I think so. Okay. And then um, we're going to keep this guy in. This is our, for our cauliflower. But we're going to go ahead and harvest what we can out of the cauliflower. And then uh, pull out the rest. And it's going to go to the animals. So. Here we go. All right, guys. Kale is done. We uh, weed eat it the uh around them took off the dead leaves we're gonna keep all of these and then here's what's left of the cauliflower that went to seed and the broccoli that's going to seed and all in here we found where the ants went <laughs> got bit up by some fire ants so all in all we are done for the day got a lot cleaned up done and prepped and ready and then uh, we're gonna go ahead and take this all in. Papayas, carrots, we got some cauliflower and broccoli and some lettuce that uh, we gotta clean up and have for tonight. So everything is looking good. And we are ready for the next two storm fronts to come in, which they're going to be a couple days apart from each other, so. And then we will be able to start planting for the spring. 